Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be giving you a clean and decorate with me for my family room for the fall season. And then at the end, I'm also going to give you guys a little tour of how everything turned out. So I would love for you guys to go ahead and watch the video from beginning to end. And also leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of my uh, family room for the fall this year. I really wanted to go minimal but cozy. I'm going for that more cottagey, modern farmhouse, traditional, you know, I'm just a bunch of different styles together. Um, but it's definitely traditional, but a lot of um, like tones that are just earth tones and just not bright at all. So definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel if this is your first time visiting. Hello and welcome, my name is Shoshana and I am so happy that you are here and I would love for you to consider joining our family here on YouTube. We have so much fun. I do a lot of home decor, seasonal decor, DIYs and some cleaning motivation mixed in. So I would love for you to go ahead and hit that red button down below. Also double tap that bell um, and put it to all notifications. That way you don't miss any of my fall content that is coming up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I also wanted to include a few DIYs in this video. Um, I am going to be painting my little dresser here. I painted it for the springtime with the blue and I'm kind of over the blue. So now I'm just going to paint it a glossy black finish. Um, and just include like a few DIYs that I am going to be incorporating in my fall decor in my family room. So I wanted my family room to be, of course, cozy for the season. Um, but I just, I wanted neutral colors and I wanted earth tones and not anything bright and overwhelming. I just wanted to mellow out <laughs> for the season. And I, as you will see in my, in my family room, once it's all done, um, and I give you the tour, I didn't really do a lot. I didn't, I didn't go out with the tree like I normally do, which I wrestled with, um, because I really wanted to do my fall tree, but I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to overdo it this year. I really just want it to be cozy and like almost minimal, which I really don't do minimal, but I just really wanted it to be cozy and just not a lot of stuff. So I love the way that it turned out and I hope that you guys do too. And let me know what you think of my new dresser once it's all done and painted. So now I am going to be doing another DIY and it's a stenciling project. I found the stencil on um, Amazon and it's like a fall stencil, but it's a scripture from, um, I believe it's First Thessalonians. And I wanted to incorporate that in my decor because obviously I am a Christian and I, you know, fully believe that all the seasons obviously is um, a representation of who God is and who he created us to be. And so I wanted to incorporate um, my faith and the love of my life, <laughs> Jesus Christ, into my decor um, style for the fall this season. It's he's all over my home, but um, I've just been through so much this year in the last few months that um 
God has just been incredibly amazing to my family and I. And you guys know all the things that we've gone through um, this year, this season, this summer. It's been it's been insane. And so I just wanted to incorporate this scripture in my decor because it's just everything. It's everything to me. And I am super grateful to be here. I'm super grateful to be talking to you guys. And so I just love the way that this project turned out. Now we are on to the cleaning part of this video and I'm just, we've been in here and just relaxing and eating and watching movies and everything and so I'm just going to go ahead and um, clean up a bit, get rid of some of the messes that is on my coffee table and then we are going to jump into the decorating part. Give me a reason to get out of bed. I need a minute to think, or maybe two Cause yesterday I lost control and said some things I felt that you should know I need a day to clear my mind and leave it all behind It's gonna be okay no matter come what may I'm gonna set things straight Tomorrow I let my worries fade Let them sweep away There'll be another day Tomorrow I keep repeating the same mistakes mm. I did them all before In every shade Okay guys, so I want to leave you uh, an encouraging word today. I know that it's Sunday and um, I don't know if all the churches are open, but you know, I just wanted to leave you guys an encouraging word today so that if you're feeling a little bit down in your spirit or just discouraged or overwhelmed, um, you know, that Hopefully this word will touch that area and just help you to have a better day and help you to get through the day. So today's verse is coming from um, Psalms 119 verse 114 and it says that you are my refuge and my shield. I have put my hope in your word. So um I know that there's so much that's going on out there in the world. Um, I know that it can be daunting. I know that it can be, it can make you fearful. And, you know, there could be a lot of worry and just 
overwhelming thoughts. But I just want to reassure you today that if you put your hope and your trust in the Lord, make him your refuge, like Psalms 91 says also, make him your refuge that you will find peace in him. And you know, the word of God says that if you delight yourself in the Lord, that he will give you the desires of your heart. And also if you dwell in him, that he'll keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him. And so I just want to remind you today that the fight is not over. I want to remind you today that all the promises that God has promised you and you have not yet received it, it is still coming to pass. All the the, the plans and the purpose that he has for your life, it will Will still come to pass because the Bible said that all these things, the worldly things, the things that are happening in the earth right now, everything, it will pass away. It will be an end, but his word will stand forever. And so... Um, you know that Jesus is his word. Jesus is the word. And so he made himself manifested in his word for us so that we can get to know him and we can focus on him. So I just want to just just encourage you to keep your mind stayed on God. No matter what it looks like, no matter if it's health issues, if it's financial issues, if it's, you know, mental issues, emotional issues, whatever the case may be, keep your mind stayed on God because he will give you peace. He's the only person that can give you that peace, that contentment um, and, and that that refuge that place of safety and knowing that he is God and that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think know that know the father know that he is with us he is for us he is not against us and that there is more that's for us that seems like there's that that's against us because the greater one lives on the inside of us so I just want to give you that encouraging word today stay focused keep those blinders on don't be swayed by what's happening in the world don't be swayed by politics by you know republican and democrats and you know liberals and forget about all of that we are the government in god's earth we're the ones that's supposed to set you know the standards of what god wants to take place in this earth and so let's be that let's be the authority um, Tate of people that God has called us to be. Let's walk in our authority and walk in our birthright and be the government in this earth and overcome and overthrow evil and sin and wickedness because that's what we're fighting against. We're not fighting against um, people. We're not fighting against our president. We're not fighting against, and, and we may not, um, we may not agree you know, with a lot of things. I know that I don't. But at the end of the day, we still have to pray. We still have to pray for our leaders, like the Bible say. And we still have to pray for our country, our nation, our world. We still have to keep praying. We cannot give up. We cannot quit the fight. We cannot grow weary. We have to keep praying and we have to keep running. And so try to focus on the word of God so that fear won't set in so that degradation won't set in so that you know all those 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 um feeling of of fear and discouragement and all those things that the enemy tries to um bring us to don't focus on those things because when you focus on them, you magnify them. Focus on the good things. Focus on God. Focus on his word. Focus on your family and the plans that God has for you. Focus on those things. And I promise you, make those things big in your life. Make God big in your life. And everything else will become so small that you won't even notice that they're there anymore. All right. So I hope that this encouraged you. I hope that you can go through your day um, focusing on God and the good things and um, that this lift your spirits out there. Thank you guys so much for joining me and thank you so much for watching this video and also, you know, for always encouraging and praying and loving on me and my family. I really do appreciate you guys. God bless you. Million ways to mess things up and I need some time to figure out what to say. Make our troubles disappear Oh, tomorrow's near It's gonna be okay No matter come what may I'm gonna set things straight Tomorrow, let all our worries
worries fade Let them sweep away There'll be another day tomorrow Oh, oh, oh Okay guys, so now I am going to give you guys a little tour of what the family room looks like. And I think that it just looks so cozy and happy. Oh my gosh, I love the way that it looks. I love the way that it feels. I love the way that it smells. It's just, it literally attacks all the senses <laughs> and it just feels like fall, although when I filmed this video, it was 80 degrees outside, but we are having fall days, especially all day, all week next week. It's going to be in the 60s and, you know, chilly at night. So it just feels like fall already, you guys. Even my kids, my daughter, she was just like, mommy, I love the way that you decorated for fall this year. It's simple. It's not a lot, though. I love all of the fluff and stuff, but it's just simple and it's calming. So that's what I was going for. I just was going for like a peaceful, um, atmosphere I didn't want too much decor clouding the space because this is where we spend 95% of our time um, and I just wanted us to be able to come in here and not be hindered by you know all the decor and all the things I just wanted to be wanted it to be practical as well as beautiful and let me know down in the comment section do you think that I achieved that I think I did um, and from all the feedback that I'm getting from my family they all absolutely love it as well so I am so so happy the way that the space turned out let me know what your feelings are in regards to my family room decor for the fall this year come what may I'm gonna set things straight tomorrow let all our worries fade Let them sweep away There'll be another day Tomorrow It's gonna be okay No matter come what may I'm gonna say Thank you all so much for joining me today and for watching. Um, if you're still here at the end of this video, go ahead and throw me a little fall sign in the comment section so that I know that you stayed all the way until the end. And I just really appreciate that. I appreciate your support so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I am so looking forward to seeing you guys in the next fall episode. Have a wonderful day, a fantabulous day. Don't forget that Jesus is Lord, that he loves you, and I love you too. Happy fall, you guys, and happy decorating. Could wear a